Hey, what's up, guys? I am back with another video. This time it is a little bit different. We are going to be talking about the snowmen. Now, obviously, you can only get these in snowy times, hence I am in December right now. So, yes, I have time traveled. If you haven't realized that, I normally do that in most of my videos. I'm a bit impatient, so I like to time travel. Um, but we are going to be talking about these snowmen. Now, to make them, obviously, you need to have snow on the ground, like I just said. Um, and two snowballs will spawn if there is snowballs on the ground. Now, normally they are near each other, like you can see here. Sometimes they can appear slightly uh, further away from each other. So you, sometimes you have to go and find them and bring them back. But basically what you do is just keep kind of rolling the snowball until it gets big. So I'm just going to show you what to do. So basically you have to make a perfect snowman. Now, if the snowman is not perfect, you will not get a DIY recipe. Now, this is the best way to get the frozen DIY recipes. Um, and I'll quickly show you an example of what some of these are, because I've got a few now. So I just got this one, which was the frozen chair. Um, but we have a few more that I've actually uh, got by doing this. So we've got the frozen counter, the frozen arch, frozen sculpture, and uh, the frozen tree at the moment. And then we've got the frozen chair. So those are the... Uh, Kind of recipes you can expect to get from the snowman it's basically the frozen things um now to get the large snowflakes you actually get them from getting the perfect snowmen as well um and if you talk to them once a day um melted or not um it takes them three days to melt if you talk to them every day they'll give you a giant snowflake but, but please bear in mind that these snow snowmen have to be perfect snowmen to get these large snowflakes now obviously to get the uh, small snowflakes they are just kind of flying around as you can see here and you can just catch them but to get the giant snowflakes i believe the only way i've found to get them right now is from the large uh, the perfect snowmen so right now i'm just going to make the body and then we'll make the head and i'll show you exactly the sizes that they need to be to make it a perfect snowman <laughs> So the bottom part of the body has to be the biggest you can possibly make it. So you just keep rolling and rolling and rolling until it gets to about this size. You can kind of tell when it's when it's the right size because your character starts to push it a little bit slower. So you can tell when it's the, the, the main size that it needs to be. So what I'm going to do is just push this kind of in an area to get it out of the way. I'll probably put it down here for now. Because I need room to... Uh, obviously make the head of the snowman so now we're going to make the head so we're just going to do the same thing with this now please bear in mind that if you put the head on the bottom head of the, the bottom half of the snowman rather um and it is not the perfect size it will say oh you haven't got this perfect or oh you know slightly there not good enough and he'll tell you that it's not right and you won't get a diy so it has to be the perfect size. It has to be slightly smaller than the bottom half, as you can see um, on my other snowmen. But I will show you the size. I'll stand next to it and I'll show you exactly the kind of size that it needs to be for it to be a perfect snowman. So what you're looking for here is the, the head part to be pretty much just touching your ear. So I think it's still a little bit small right now. So we're just going to push it a little bit more and hopefully we can get it the right size first time. Now this is where I do it and I don't do it right the first time. My heart is pounding. Come on. Right, I think I might go for that. That looks kind of right to me. Oh, and then I doubt myself. <laughs> you kind of want it to just be by your ear. So we're going to go for this. Okay, we're going to go for this one. I think this is right. Your perfect snowboy is here. There you go. So that was a perfect snowboy. It's not braggy if it's true and it's only true because of you. Point, Just point me in the direction of the nearest snow museum and I'll be on my way because that's where I belong. <laughs> oh, I can stick around here and show the locals what a flawless snow creation looks like. Can't praise you enough for your top-notch snow sculpting skills. Whoa. That's kind of hard to say. <laughs> so this is how you know that you've made a perfect snowman. He'll give you... See, I'm going to get a DIY recipe. He'll tell you what it is. Oh! I've been wanting the frozen bed. I'm so happy. Um, So then he gives you that. He also gives you a large snowflake. And that is that. 
So there you go, your perfect snowman. Now, please bear in mind that you can only make one of these a day. Now, they do melt after three days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly time skip to the next day. I'll probably fast forward this on um, just so you can see um, how you can get the snowflakes off them the next day as well. So I am now on the next day. As you can see, I am on the 26th of December now. One of my snowmen is completely melted, but we still have um, some here. The one I built just now is starting to melt. And basically what you have to do is just come and speak to them every day and they'll give you a large snowflake. Now, they'll only give you large snowflakes, I believe, if they were perfect snowmen. Um, but they'll give you one each a day, which is really cool because... These are really hard to come by, so it's awesome to get, you know, a few a day. If you can get at least three snowmen, you can get three a day, which is awesome. Um, and obviously, more snowballs will appear as well, so you can go ahead and make yourself another one. Now, I will just point this out before I end this little uh, snowball tutorial, is that, like I said, sometimes the balls will be near each other, sometimes they won't. So I know for a fact that my other snowball, for some reason, spawns up here. So sometimes they won't be really close by, but they'll be sort of near so if i'm right it should be up here there it is right there uh and the best way because i'm not let's be honest no one wants to kick that all the way down there uh so the best way to get rid of it is kind of just kick it against a fence or kick it into the water get rid of it um and it will respawn but the best way to get it to respawn the quickest is to basically just run back to your area it won't be there yet but you go to a shop I normally do Nook's Cranny because I find it's the easiest. And basically what you want to do is come in the shop quickly and you want to just go to buy something, but don't buy it, basically. So you want to go, hey, look at this. And then go, no. And that basically resets everything outside. That resets balloons and everything. So you come back outside and there should be... Uh, the snowball next to the other snowball which will be a lot easier for you to start doing so then you don't have to kick the snowball all the way down to the other snowball if you're unfortunate like me and it spawned the other side of the map and there you go uh, and then you can continue make yourself another perfect snowboy if you don't get a perfect snowboy you can quickly quit out um and uh, come back in and they should respawn or if you feel like you've done the head too small or too big um before you put it on kick it into the water and again it will respawn it so that's been my snowboard tutorial um i hope it helped some of you um some of you might already know about this but i found this really cool and i've been spending a few days just making snowboys uh and i've been loving it so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please smash a like on it subscribe for more uh, animal crossing videos and i'll see you guys on the next one thank you